A rookie driver for the Carroll County Fire Department is being blamed for causing an accident that left an Alabama woman badly injured. Turns out the driver was not certified to be behind the wheel of the fire truck or even to be a firefighter yet. Uh, but Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis talked to Carroll County authorities who say they okayed that decision. Randy? That's right, Russ and Marissa. Yeah, their answer was surprising, but that's exactly what happened in Carroll County on Labor Day, a practice the department says it's been following for years. We've been through stuff before. We'll make it through this. This is Peggy Hicks after two weeks of the most miserable time of her life, with who knows how many more months of misery ahead. It hurts. It's, it's a terrible pain. Peggy and her husband James had just finished a Labor Day weekend vacation in Pigeon Forge, driving back through Carroll County on their way home to Opelika, Alabama. They came to this intersection going to the speed limit. Around 50 miles an hour, they estimate. They had the green light. No, I thought I heard something, and I glanced over in my mirror, and I couldn't see anything. I looked up, and I saw the fire truck sitting there. It wasn't moving. So as I started to glance back up to the road, as I was glancing back up, I heard my wife scream. And I screamed at James. I said, he's coming out. Their Nissan Rogue would crash into a Carroll County fire engine that pulled into their path. James blacked out after the airbags deployed and suffered two broken toes. His wife was airlifted to Atlanta Medical with windshield glass still in her hair. I was thinking to myself, I said, is this, is this where I'm going to die? We're lucky we're alive. They had, he had no business being under that wheel. Not at all. Even with their sirens and flashing lights, a fire engine can't automatically ignore our traffic laws. In order to run a red light, the driver has to make sure that the intersection is clear. Often that comes with experience. And that's the part of the story that has James and Peggy Hicks so upset. The Georgia State Patrol is still investigating, but in their initial report, found the fire truck driver at fault, issuing a warning for failure to yield. Driver Cody Steinseifer started with the department in May and got a driver's license that allows him to drive large vehicles like a fire truck. But at the time of the accident, he still had not begun classes to be a certified firefighter or driver. Yet Carroll County knowingly let him drive to that emergency call on Labor Day. Is that typical here in Carroll County to do that? It is typical. In fact, the Fox 5i team obtained documents showing others in Carroll County driving fire trucks on emergency calls before they were officially certified to drive or to even be a firefighter. Deputy Chief Bud Benefield says the thinking is that they've got to get that real life experience at some point. It appeared everything else would have been normal at that, that phase to introduce him into some emergency response, to let him make some emergency calls, and unfortunately, this one didn't work out for the best. Gordon Henderson, the head of the Georgia Firefighter Standards and Training Council, told us it was, quote, highly unusual to have non-certified people driving on emergency calls. But he said the decision is up to the individual fire departments. Has this accident caused you to rethink at all your practice of using non-certified drivers? Well, we always are looking for ways that we can improve. He said this is the first time he can remember one of his rookie drivers being involved in an accident. Back in Opelika, family members built a ramp so Peggy can get in and out of their home. The couple has also hired an attorney. There's no undoing what's done to them, but certainly we want to make sure that the fire department recognizes their wrongs and that this never happens again. The couple plans to sue Carroll County, but so far no lawsuit has been filed. That's expected shortly. So are non-certified firefighters still driving in Carroll County? I'm told they are, Russ, yes. So those uh, two of them at least, uh, the, the one that was involved in the accident though, not driving until the investigation is completed. They, they just have a, a manpower problem there in right. Carroll County. They cannot staff fully all the stations in Carroll County without using some uncertified drivers to drive these fire trucks, right. unless they want to pay a whole bunch of overtime, and that's apparently not an option right now. So for the foreseeable future, at least, you're going to see the same sort of activity going on in Carroll County. Mm, definitely worth a review. Yep. Thanks, Randy. Randy, thanks.